Make Dizzle Gaming coming at you. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you're doing well today. Hit that like button if you enjoy this and subscribe to keep up to date on the best of the best Red Dead news, leaks, live streams, and a whole lot more. Well, if you're watching this, I don't have to tell you. It's a dry old time in Red Dead Online. Although there has been updates to the Steam database for both Red Dead 2 and Red Dead Online, as well as a build ID well in the 8s for a version of Red Dead Online where our current one is in the 7s, there's no update in the immediate site that we know about. In today's video, we are going to talk about some recent changes to GTA Online and how this is really bad news for Red Dead Online and possibly the future of Red Dead Online. With the recent Rockstar debacles of Save Red Dead Online, the poorly received but financially successful definitive edition of the trilogy, as well as the next generation release of GTA 5, just when you think Rockstar has hit rock bottom, they grab a shovel and dig a little bit more. They released a subscription service called GTA Plus for $5.99 American a month. You get 500 grand, you get some supercars, you get some discounts, and additionally you get some bonuses and this is kind of funny. It is very sneaky what they are doing is giving early access to things, a little bit of money, and some discounts that may have been free before and attaching them to a subscription service that you pay for monthly. There will also be perks for purchasing member only shark cards that come with extra bonus cash. We definitely know where the priorities lie. Let's take a look at this from a business sense. Subscription services have been around with MMOs for a while and they've worked out pretty good in some cases and in other cases they have not. What has made them successful is the ability for the consumer to find value in it. Sadly, financial success does not always equal quality for the consumer. From a business standpoint, they're currently releasing a product for $5.99 a month that 100% of their players currently don't have, so that could be a significant amount of revenue, even if a really small percentage of GTA Online players purchase this. If we shift this methodology to Red Dead Online where we have not had content in so long, and if subscription services were part of the methodology we were using within the organization and my goal was to make money from Red Dead Online, I would do something similar with Red Dead Online, and I'll tell you why. With Red Dead Redemption 2 selling 43 million copies so far, and still selling 1 to 2 million per quarter, within those 43 million copies sold, there has been millions of people that have played Red Dead Online. And as a greedy company, there's a lot of money on the table for them. An example could be if Rockstar released a new piece of content tomorrow, let's say it's a new role, let's say they charge 25 gold for this, a certain percentage of players would have to buy gold in order to buy this right away and a fairly large percentage of players, I would think, would actually have enough gold and they wouldn't spend any money on it. Now imagine a couple scenarios with a subscription based model. Scenario number one, this new role is coming out, it's going to cost 25 gold, but for the Red Dead Plus subscribers, for that $6 a month extra or whatever, they would get it two weeks early. Or alternatively, you need that subscription to access that specific type of content. Or maybe, as opposed to our quick draw clubs, outlaw passes costing gold, you just have to be a Red Dead Plus subscriber for this time to get these unlockables. Very unconsumer friendly, but very monetarily friendly. As a big fan of Red Dead Online, I have zero interest in getting like a Red Dead Online Plus subscription to pay for a bunch of bonuses and discounts I'll never use. However, for new and early access content, as much as I hate the idea of it, I would begrudgingly pay for it. The reality is, Rockstar really broke the game on launch with a broken economy and a whole bunch of other really messy things, and I think they're trying to regroup and recover, at least I hope so. As you you can guess based on previous interviews and all the evidence and information we have, things are not going the way they expected for Red Dead Online. But in true current state Rockstar fashion, expect them to grab your money and give you something pretty lackluster. What about you? Would you pay for a subscription service in Red Dead Online? Is it an absolutely not or would it depend on what it actually entailed? Overall, it seems like bad news for GTA Online and it seems like it could be bad news for Red Dead Online if this happens in the future. Do you think we'll see something like this in our next update? Let me know. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. And if you're new here, welcome and subscribe to keep up to date with all the Red Dead news. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video or live stream.